Hello and welcome back. I'm the Code Pilot. Now then, in this episode, we're going to be looking at a major schoolboy error that I've been making. What I've been doing is I've been trying to load a image into Pygame and use that image as a background. Now, what's happening is it's going really, really slow. In a in a game, you've got a background and it moves really fluidly and it doesn't seem to affect the gameplay whatsoever. But when I've been doing it, it's so slow. Let me show you what I mean with this little script here. There we go. Now, there we go. Now, my uh, my PC is not a rubbish PC. It's run running at 4 gigahertz. It's got uh, two graphics cards and 16 gig of RAM and running off an SSD. So this is not a shabby piece of equipment yet it seems to be running very slow. This image that you see here is actually running with no frames per second limiting on it at all. So this is the maximum output my computer can achieve running this background scrolling uh, effect. So, so what's going on? Right, let me just stop that right there and I'll take you over to my little graphic on my webcam. Now then, so when we load a, this is our image, when we load it into Pygame, Pygame doesn't understand each of the pixel data here. Um, it could be in various different number of uh, bits um, and orientation and stuff like that. And when Pygame tries to blit this to the display surface, it has to blit each individual pixel at a time because it just doesn't understand how to write it into memory. When we convert it using the convert function at the end of the image load function, it converts it into a format that it can directly copy this line, this full line here, into memory. So it'll do line one into memory, then it'll move down to line two into memory. And because it knows the pixel format, it can say, yeah, okay, just copy it straight in and this will be okay. So let's uh, now enable the convert on the end of this uh, image load function and we'll see how what difference it has on the speed of the blitting. And there we go. Look at that. That is what you'd expect from a game, isn't it? Sonic the Hedgehog, eat your heart out. Anyway, there was a massive schoolboy error and I've been doing it for ages. I've been coding for in Python for years and I've been doing Pygame for about two years and I've always wondered why I can only use small images on the display surface. All my uh, all my uh, games have had black black backgrounds because I've just thought it was a limitation in Pygame's code. But it's not. It was a limitation in my knowledge. So and that's the reason why I'm sharing this with you so you can make uh, decent games and not having to worry about your uh, code. So that's it from me. Um, and the next tutorial, what I'm going to be looking at is this, and what I'm showing you right now. Side scrolling seamless backgrounds so that you can use them in your games and it just looks absolutely amazing and everyone's really impressed. So I'll see you next time. If you've got any comments, please leave them. I, I love comments, even if it's a criticism. I love criticism because that helps me learn and I can build upon that and I can help you guys if... Uh, if I can make another video on it. So yeah, whatever, do it. And I'll see you for the next tutorial. It'll be good.